All right, advancements in blood testing are offering new hope for early detection of serious diseases. Today, the FDA approved a new blood test for colon cancer screening, which could improve low screening rates. And a new study has found a blood test for Alzheimer's can detect 91% of early dementia cases. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandy, joins us now. So tell us about this shield test for colon cancer. How does it compare to a colonoscopy? How accurate is it? Yeah, people love anything that prevents them from doing a colonoscopy, right? So research shows that the shield blood test, Mike, was 83% effective in identifying colorectal cancer. What it does is it detects these DNA fragments released into the bloodstream by cancerous tumor cells and precancerous growths. While it's effective at detecting late-stage colon cancer, get this, it's only 13% effective in detecting early-stage precancerous growths or polyps. That's what we want. We want early stage, right? So the key reason why this test is not intended to replace colonoscopies, which still remains the gold standard. In my practice, I perform thousands of colonoscopies. Not only can I see the lesions or growths, Mike, but I can also remove them during a 20-minute or so procedure, which helps reduce the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Having said that, right, less than 60% of folks, that's right, less than 60% who are eligible for screening actually get tested. A blood test like the SHIELD test is simpler and less invasive than a colonoscopy. However, if a person receives positive results, well, they still have to have a colonoscopy to confirm if cancer is present. But at least it can get you over that hump. At least Yeah, that. and then not have that little black tube go in places right. you don't want to go. That's fair. Okay, so what can you tell us about the Alzheimer's test, which actually can detect a large amount of these cases? And this is exciting to me because people are really afraid of this. So according to a study published by JAMA Neurology, a new blood test has shown a 91% accuracy rate in diagnosing Alzheimer's disease among people with mild cognitive decline or early stage dementia. And researchers from Lund University in Sweden conducted the study with just 1,200 participants and the average age was 74, and all these folks were experiencing memory issues. Participants were given traditional exam, provided blood samples, and had confirmatory spinal taps or brain scans. Now, one part of the blood test measured a protein called P-Tau-217, short for plasma phosphorylated Tau-217, which is a key indicator of Alzheimer's. Now, this was combined with another blood biomarker that measures two types of what are called amyloid proteins. And this combination of the amyloid and tau test, known as the amyloid probability score 2, or APS2 for short, was most effective in identifying Alzheimer's. Lots of details there, but the test was 91% accurate, and this was significantly higher, Mike, than the 61% accuracy rate for primary care doctors and 73% rate of specialists in the study. This, to me, is very remarkable. It's so important to diagnose early stage Alzheimer's so that patients can receive effective treatment. However, more research is needed to confirm these tests. So a widely available blood test for Alzheimer's may still be some time away, but it's really refreshing to see less invasive tests to find cancers or, or, or diseases early so you can get better quicker. And blood tests, that doesn't take a lot of convincing. People will do that. Exactly. All right, Dr. Andy, thank you so much. Hey, my pleasure. You. Thank you. And if you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or on X.